relatives would get together in the Masjid Janazah, pay their respects to the family. And instead what happened, we found there was a certain degree of acrimony, certainly a degree of misunderstanding between the communities. And what we discovered during that uh, time there, that uh, there was a great deal of misunderstanding still uh, prevalent within the Muslim community. And by the Muslim community, I meant, I mean primarily being the, the, the Sunni branch and the Shia branch. To such an extent that uh, the Masjid Janazah was held there, and we're not, we're not here to discuss that issue really, but to really discuss what came out following that meeting. And what followed from that, uh, uh, the Nawazi Jiraza, particular, particularly the family uh, of the deceased, uh, said that really it was, um, caused them particular distress during, during that time. So Milita Jafia, uh, our organization clearly decided that the, one of the best steps to take forward from that uh, was to organize this meeting, to enable people to, uh, to have an open forum, to open, uh, have a, a presentation on, on, on Islam, and also then have an opportunity for yourselves to have an, uh, a chance to ask any questions that you might uh, feel necessary. Now we're hoping that if this is successful, this will be the first of four meetings, so they would see to go away, check the information, and uh, then if there's any other questions that you want to ask, you have to come back and and, be, and have those questions answered as well. So don't feel that this, this session is a one-time only and you'll have your questions unanswered. You'll have a chance to come back and answer uh, a question and answer again. Uh, that's the reason. Um, and now really it falls to me to, and it's a really a great honour uh, on my part to invite our guest speaker today, Mulana Sayyid, Mulana Ali uh, Razad, to the stage. Uh, I'll give you a little bit of um, his background. Uh, Mulana Ali Razad was brought up in, in Birmingham, so you can tell he's uh, fluent in English, but unfortunately with a Birmingham accent. Uh, <laughs> but we'll have to put up with that aspect of it. Because in fact, with Mulana Ali Razad, you'll find he's fluent in quite a few different languages. He's fluent in in English, in Punjabi, in Urdu, in Farsi, in Arabic, and in fact any, any language that I can look around this hall and see today. So if anybody feels that they're not comfortable in English, be assured that they can ask the question in any language and they'll have that uh, question answered. Mulana Ali Razad graduated uh, from Qum. Uh, uh, so he's uh, graduated from one of the foremost schools in, in Shia theology. He's also a director of Hadad TV. Now you might have seen the channel Hadad TV on, on so he's a regular uh, featured member on there as well as a director. He's also been the director of Merkazi al based over in Clapham, I believe it is, um, for many years. I visited myself, but Clapham just runs into itself once you're over there. He also has over 10 books to his name, <coughs> translated from both Arabic and Farsi into English, so he's very, very knowledgeable in, the, in that aspect. And he's travelled very extensively, lecturing on Islam in over 20, in over 20 countries. He has over 12 years' experience in, in the belief and in and disseminating Islam, so I'm sure that we'll be uh, uh, a lot wiser once, once, once we've had the talk. So without much further ado, I'd like to invite uh, Lund Saab to, to the stage. Thank you. Alhamdulillah, <laughs> أعني أبا القاسم محمد وعلى الطيبين الطاهرين المأسومين لسيما بقية الله في الأرضين الروح وعرواه العالمين لتراب مقدمه الفدا 
اللعنه الدائمه على اعدائهم اجمعين من الان الى قيام يوم الدين اما بعد فقد قال الله الحكيم في كتابه الكريم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ان الدين عند الله الاسلام صدق الله العلي العظيم صلوات اللهم صل على محمد وعلى ال محمد الله سبحانه وتعالى ان القران has declared that we all must follow the path that the holy prophet has laid for us and nothing but islam will be accepted from anyone ومن يأتي بغير اسلام دينا فلن يقبل منه The one who brings a religion other than Islam on the day of judgment, it will not be accepted from him. And Wahua Min al Khas in the verse itself say that he will be amongst the ones who have a loss before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They have but nothing except for loss. So Islam is the only religion that is going to be accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The final word in the final testament is the Holy Quran. All the other prophets who were given the books, they were not given those books and those Suhuf or Sahifas as a means of miracle. Except for the Holy Prophet, he was given the Holy Quran as a living miracle and as a witness and as a proof of his prophethood till the day of judgment. The one who rejects any surah, any chapter of the Holy Quran or even a single verse of the Holy Quran has rejected the whole of the Quran and has rejected the whole of the message of the Holy Prophet. Accepting the Holy Quran means accepting the Holy Prophet. And every single verse of the Holy Quran must be accepted by all the ones who believe that they are followers and true followers of the Holy Prophet. The Holy Quran itself is a living miracle and is a proof over the prophethood of the Holy Prophet. The Holy Quran itself says about the hereafter, وَبِلْ آخِرَةِ هُمْ يُقِنُونَ The ones who believe should have surety about the hereafter. Not just Iman but surety. The hereafter is something that every Muslim must believe in. And with rejecting the hereafter, you have rejected the Holy Prophet and the Tawheed. The Holy Prophet himself declared, and this is in all major books of all the Muslims, that just like the, the Jews were divided into 71 sects and the Christians into 72 sects, my Ummah will be divided into 73 sects. All of them will go to hell except for one, and that is Firqa and Najiyah. All the Muslims claim that their sect or their following or their madhab and their practice is that Firqa or that sect which the Holy Prophet declared to be the, the one that is going to be successful in the hereafter. We all pray that we are submitted to the true will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Supreme Authority, and after Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Supreme Authority in Islam is the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The Holy Prophet in his final sermon had declared that inni tariqun fikum al thaqlain I am leaving behind two weighty things. Thaqlain is from thaql, something that is important and weighty. He says, I am leaving behind two weighty things. Inni tariqun fikum al thaqlain. Kitab Allahi wa itrati ahla bayti. The book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and my itrat, my progeny. Ma in tamasaktum bihim lantadillu ba'di abada. If you hold on to these two, then you will not go astray after me. You will never go on the path that is deviant from Islam. Wal. You will never go astray. In nahma lay yaftalaka hatta yarada alayya al hawd. They will not leave each other until they meet me on the pool of kawthar. Hawd. Hawd kawthar. They will not leave each other. So if you have one, that means you do not have either. Pay attention to these words. If you think you have one of them, then you don't have either of them because they will not leave each other. If you have left one and you have kept on to one, that means you have left both of them. You only have one of them apparently because you will not get the true understanding of the other, the true understanding of the one that you have without 